What's up everyone? It's Rick here with UTV Source. We're at 2022 King of Hammers and we ran into Chuck, the owner of Pro Eagle. This is his 2021 Honda Talon X4. So what, what do you got going on on this? I mean, I see some, I see a new wrap right off the bat. Yeah, that's right. We've had it for two years now. Uh, the debut for it was last year, this year, or uh, at th this event last year at the King of the Hammers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was stock then, bone stock. We pre-ran with it, loved it, but then we decided, okay, well, it's time to get some accessories bolted onto it. So we had first, uh, first out of the box was Jackson Racing. We put a turbo on there. Turbocharger. Turbocharged, yes. That's the only way to go with a Honda. It changes the, the outlook of the car totally. <laughs> it does it really like, is it snappy snappy? It, it is, yes. It actually changes it from 90 horsepower stock to 180. 180 horsepower Honda Talon. Yep. Well, that's, that's legit. So a Jackson Racing Turbo, Was it, does it come with a tuner or? Uh, yes, they have program all of that stuff though. It comes with everything you need right out of the box. Bolt on. Bolt on. Anyone can do it at home. Anyone can do it at home. It's good to know. It's good to know, guys. You can put a turbo on your Honda Talon, Jackson Racing. So you swear by it? Swear by it. It's the only way to go. So you got the turbo. I noticed you got an HCR dual sport kit. That's right. So is it it's a long travel kit or is it wider? It takes it, it takes it about an inch wider on each side than the Honda Talon R chassis does. So uh, it makes it work like the, the race chassis is supposed to, uh, which which is a lot better than what this one is factory. <laughs> and it's all TIG welded, really nice craftsmanship. Any, you know, just what you'd expect from HCR. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff, yeah. Well, what else? I mean, I, I, I see a tire I've never seen before. Yeah, it's a Milestar Patagonia SXT. Um, we've run this tire on our last Honda Talon that we had, and I run it on our trucks. We actually raced uh, a 4400 last year on the Milestar tires as well, had zero flats, ran the whole race on four tires. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with the whole tire brand as a whole. It's a 3210-15 mounted on metal FX wheels. These are dope wheels. That is the only way to go. Actually, I get more comments about the wheels in this car than anything else. <laughs> That's a very high-end wheel. Yes, it is. Like it's, they're not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> really nice, really nice machined wheels, beadlock. Nice hardware. That's dope. That's dope. So you got a Bosman? Bosman front bumper, yeah. Rigid lights. Uh, no winch yet. We haven't done any kind of serious rock uh, wheeling with it where we needed a winch, but. Um, so there is room for, yep, there's the room in the fair lead right there. So it's like a skid plate winch. You got your D ring hooks. Yep. Nice. Three lights. Ambers. Cut the dust. Right. It's just like hammers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of dust on there. Yeah. So talk about the wrap. So I, I saw a post, you kind of let into it. Um, take us down memory lane. Yeah, so when I was a kid, uh, my dad's been racing since before I was born and the first car that I remember him having was a Chinwith chassis, single seat, class one car, <laughs> had a Corvair motor in it. And you know, as a five year old kid, it was loud and it was a, it was a beast. Uh, and it's always been my favorite car, but it was back when they used paint on race cars and they looked cool. Um, so it's always been my favorite and I wanted to do some kind of a throwback and uh, uh, pay homage to the my favorite car and my dad's car and uh, so I took it to Proline and uh, told Andrew like hey this is what I want to do and uh, he's like well we can either make it look identical or I can update it and uh, and keep with that same theme so he updated it and uh, I think he did a fantastic it's job got with it. Ghosted in logo in there yeah. very nice it's like kind of I don't know Ivan Stewart ish that's the right. area. Yep, yep. Area, yeah. Exactly. That looks good, dude. The blue and the yellow and the orange, red. Yeah. Got your nice logo there, Pro Eagle. So, you know, Chuck's the owner of Pro Eagle. He is the guy behind the jacks that we use on our side by sides, our trucks, our trailers. You probably have one. If you don't, you should probably get one. But uh, you got a pretty dope little, it's a Phoenix. Yeah. So, this is a CO2 cartridge? It's a CO2 operator. So, we have a full, we're working on a full line of jacks. So, we have anywhere from the one and a half ton big wheel jacks, the two ton to three ton, and then this is the onboard UTV jack. We have one. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have a single stage one, which is a little bit taller, and then the Phoenix dual stage, which is shorter, but obviously uh, has, uh, it's telescopic. So, it starts off a little bit shorter. So, if you have a flat tire situation, it fits underneath it a little bit better. 
and it comes with all the brackets and mounts, or is it sold separately in a kit? You can kind of piece them together Correct. too, right? Yeah, so the jacks come in a, a soft bag and the jack sits into there in pre-cut foam. Uh, we supply it with uh, the CO2 cartridges, the regulator to run it, and then if you want to add it onto your roll bar, we offer the stainless steel roll bar mount and then the, the um, this holster cool. to hold the yeah, CO2 and holsters. the regulator. This is really cool. I've used this. It's a very nice setup. Um, it's lightweight. It fits in your UTV. You don't have all the space like a truck to throw a big jack in there. Some guys do, but not everyone does. They're affordable. They work great. I used it. Um, I still use it and uh, you can replace the cartridges. I know we have them on the website. That's right. It's a great product and uh, it's, it's pretty dope. Yeah, thank you. Pretty pretty great idea. Thank you. <laughs> it was a while in the making on that one. Yeah, yeah. This is really trick. Really trick. If you don't have bags in your UTV, you just strap it on your cage, you're good to go. Yeah. It's really neat. You got the buggy whips. Of course, buggy whips. The only way to go. <laughs> I used to have a, I had a set of the buggy whips on one of my car. I took it through a parking structure. Oh, really? And just beat them on the columns coming like 50 <laughs> times. They held up, they were great, and they still turned on. That's awesome. Really, really cool whip. So let's talk about the cage, a little bit of safety. What is this? Uh, the cage was made by SF Race Works. Uh, we wanted to keep the overall stock look of the vehicle, um, but obviously improve the safety of the car. So I think they did a pretty good job with that. It's, a, it's really nice, well-built. Yeah. Um, with just a few extra steps, it would be even a race legal cage. So really? I like that. And, Hopefully down the line, we'll run it into maybe a, a TP4 or a local event. You thinking about doing that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, I, I remember this car here. I remember it at the Mud Nationals. Yes, sir. We had, it, we had it caked uh, four inches thick with mud. <laughs> we're still pulling pieces off it and finding mud in places where we didn't think we can get it. <laughs> so you got the rigid lights up front. I noticed you got the rigid rear chase light bar as well. Yes, sir. Those are pretty trick. All in one unit again. Yep. Was it? Easy to install, wiring. Easy install, uh, to be completely honest with you, it's not wired up yet. Okay. Uh, we were had, we had ordered some uh, Switch Pro units okay. and picked them out, up out here and just haven't done the wiring yet. So, so you went with the Switch Pro? Getting, yes, sir. Eight or 12? Uh, eight. Okay, so you got the eight, because they do have the new 12 out as well, and we have them in stock at UTV Source. Yes, sir. I know that, because I talked to Laura. Yeah. <laughs> Laura hand-delivered my unit out here to me. But like I said, we just ran out of time to get it wired. Nice. So, I, I'm going to start, I, I, I want to ask, in that turbo kit, because I didn't get into it, did it come with its own exhaust system as part of the kit? So, no, the, the Jackson Racing kit does not um, have the ability to run an aftermarket exhaust. It's still a factory exhaust. So it goes to the factory exhaust. Right, yeah, so they are working on a tune for aftermarket exhaust because um, it's a popular request from them, but uh, right now it's only factory. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't even think about asking that, but I'm glad I did. So it runs with your factory exhaust for now. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. So you got Sparco seats, which is a, a hard shell seat. A big it, difference between hard shell and suspension seats. It is, yeah. But in this uh, particular car, to put a uh, another brand, it just didn't fit well. Um, I've seen a couple of other Hondas out there with the PRPs, which I love, yeah. uh, but it just it's bigger inside. Whereas these fit nice and fit nice and tight, and um, obviously the safety is uh, second to none. Yeah, hard shell seat. This is, I, I would assume, FIA approved yep. Sparco's. This is the QRT-R model with Sparco harnesses. And these are cool, the cam adjust, cam lock yep. harnesses. Yep. Really, really trick. It, it makes it simple. People that uh, have tried the latch link systems, yep. a lot of people that have never ridden in one before have a lot of time, a hard time with those. So yep. uh, the cam locks seem to be easy for people to figure out. It's really, really well thought out. It's basically, it's a race car for the most part. One of these days it might be. <laughs> you, got the, you got the Lawrence GPS up there, I see that. Yeah. And uh, we were talking earlier, you got a rugged radio system coming in. Rugged radios was also picked up here at King of the Hammers, uh, so that's the next install for sure. That's cool. Yeah. Those guys are always busy. They are, yeah. They make some of the best stuff out there for radios, and you got, I'm assuming Assault, yeah? There's yeah. the logo, Assault. Assault mirror. Assault mirror. You gotta have a mirror. I learned that lesson. Yeah. Care, I was backing into everything. <laughs> Finally got some mirrors, got uh, got some mirrors put on that. I went with the, I had the Trinity, so I got to try out the Trinity race. Yeah. Apex mirrors. It's a nice setup. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of really cool parts you can put on your side by side. Yeah. It really is. They make, they make the best stuff. <laughs> and you got uh, paddle shifters. So yeah. this is a uh, clutchless 
shifting? Sequential shifting, yes. So it's like a sequential, similar to uh, Yamaha. Yeah, so you can put it in automatic and it shifts itself, okay. or you can put it in sport mode and you can manually up and down shift it. Awesome. Even, in, even in automatic, you can uh, manually downshift if it starts to bog down. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I dig it, dig it, man. Yeah, factory Fox shocks, like you said, and then um, um, shock therapy coilover kit. Okay, so it's got the, yeah, these are little two O's and two fives in the back. Two fives in the rear. Yeah. Well, I mean, am I missing anything on it that uh, we didn't get to talk about? Wait, I see the assault fire extinguisher. Good for you. Every UTV needs have one. have a uh, first aid kit and a fire extinguisher for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is, that is a must. Spare tire, you've got a Savage UTV kit. That's right. Okay. So Savage actually just came out with that uh, revolve case. So that's another jack in there. So uh, we were just doing some testing for them and making sure that uh, it held up to the punishment of KOH. Oh, okay, okay. Is that something that might come down the road? Yeah, you guys should probably have them in stock on your shelves very soon. Yeah, so they'll offer three or four different st styles. Okay. They'll offer one that'll hold uh, your impact wrenches. They have a tool kit as well. Uh, and then one that's just bare that you can cut out and put whatever you want inside. So and your jack fits in there. Correct. And it holds a belt underneath all of that stuff. It's, it's really cool to see the off-road industry working together, different manufacturers. And that's, what, that's what's really cool about all these events we get to meet up and, and hang out. It's where all the brainstorming starts. Yeah. And, and that's how these parts get developed. And that's how they end up on the website at utvsource.com. Chuck. Always good to see you. Thank um, you, sir. I think it's time, and I think everyone wants to see this thing uh, hit some dirt. You know, let's go, let's go spend some shitties. That's right. Let's take it for a rip. Let's do it, buddy. All right.